one day after someone shot and killed two men. Neighbors say they want the city's violence to end. Now, police just released the names of the two men killed at 50th and Chestnut last night. They're 23-year-old Lee Talaferro and 21-year-old Eugene Wheeler. Wheeler was found dead in a house. Talaferro died in the hospital. Christina Medina was at the scene last night and has been following the story today. Christina? Well, people who live in the neighborhood tell me they're sick and tired of so many killings. I'm tired of losing people. On her front porch, Tierra Bay talks about the most recent killings in Kansas City. It's a quiet house with somebody dead inside. Two people were found shot to death. One died at a hospital, the other in a house just three doors down from Bay. I don't know what it's going to take for people to wake up, you know, and stop all the senseless killing. Sad. She lives with her young son and her mother. Bay says her block, 50th and Chestnut, is usually calm. We never had that type of problem. Everybody on this block is quiet and they keep to themselves, so it's just puzzling. According to the crime report on the city's website, there was one robbery and one theft last month in the area, but no crime was reported on her block. Still, Bay has felt the pain related to the city's violence. I lost a lot of friends. To senseless murders. A lot of friends. I mean, I can't even count. Almost in tears, Bay worries about her son. Oh, we got kids around here. We got to make a change for them. Because if we don't, then, you know, they're going to be headed in the same direction. And you know, I don't want my son to go down that road. She hopes police figure out who killed her neighbor and why. And she also hopes somehow this killing will end. In Kansas City, Christina Medina, NBC Action News.